hey everybody welcome back to my channel so if you are new here hi my name is ellie i'm a teen mom to two children i have a four-year-old called Dayante king who i had at 14 and then i have a daughter who i fell pregnant with at 16 and gave birth at 17 and she is now two and it is currently 9 40 in the morning i am up i am dressed i've come out the bath i don't know what to do with my hair today because it is drying but i've just got a phone call from down to school and i need to go and pick him up because they're trying to send him home if you've seen in my previous videos he has like it's like cuts or something around his mouth and he had those when he went to school last week and everything was fine. So I was a bit confused today when they're telling me I've got to go pick him up. So I'm going to go and pick him up and see what they say. But they said it might be something called Infantango. Infantango. Something like that. So they recommended me to ring my doctors. I've rang my doctors, but I can't get through. So if you've seen this today then you'll see that i got him some steroid cream but yeah i'm thinking i might just take him down to the hospital because i can't get through to my doctors and if i can't get through to them now who's to say they're gonna have any appointments for me today and i want to get it looked at today to see what my baby's got because yeah like deontay's actually not been hospital like touch wood both of my kids haven't been in hospital they're not constantly in hospital so i'm hoping this is actually just like where he's been scratching it and then he's picked his face because that is what he did do he was picking his face so i'm hoping it isn't anything big or anything to worry about but i'm just gonna have to see what the doctors or the chemists say before i decide whether i take him down the hospital or not i've just got a call from my dad and my dad is actually gonna pick him up for me and bring him home so that saves me a job so i didn't still get free to my gp so what i've done i've put him on his coat on she's here now you gonna say hi hi everybody She's in her pyjamas, but in this time of matter, we don't care. We don't care what we in, but yeah, she's in her mini mouse pyjamas. She put her shoes on. Dante's poorly, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So bye, bye, buddy. <laughs> Did you have fun at the party yesterday, baby? Bye, bye. And Mora. Hello. Did you have fun? Yeah, still got a little bit of face paint on your face. I was meant to give her a bath last night, but me and Amora just we well, can't. Hi, out. buddy. You like saying hi to everybody. <laughs> Say love you. Love her. I'm gonna go get Dante some cream, special medicine. Cream. So we'll get Dante some medicine. Cream. Cream. Is he poorly? Is he poorly? Oh, no. Say, get well soon. Bye soon. <laughs> Who's coming for you in a few weeks? Santa. Santa. Is he going to bring you lots of presents? Is he going to bring you lots of presents? Santa. Hello. Santa, he's in the North Pole. He's making all your toys. Are you going to get loads of presents? She never wants to sit with me anymore. You never want to sit with me anymore. And it's so sad. You only ever want to sit with me when I'm doing something. I love you. Love you. Love you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Can you go get baby wipes? Please. Get the baby wipes for me so I can clean your face. Dante, I think, is back now. Hello, hello, granddad. <laughs> Where are you, Dante? Um, at the doctor. At the hospital. Why are you at the hospital? Because I got poorly affected. 
Aunt Hans. Let's see Hans. Look at that. Show them. Oh, my baby. So we end to be seen. And there's 10 people waiting. So it shouldn't be too long, should it? You're not in no pain now, are you? What a snack. Yeah, you can get one out my bike in a second. Where's my phone that you're watching? Who's watching YouTube? This is your first of the time at the hospital, ain't it? Hey? Don't take another has to come for anything, so. Look at his face. So we've just come out of the hospital and the lady who did the assessment said that she thinks it's hand, foot and mouth. She said she's not 100% sure, but she thinks it is because I said, but he's already had that, can he have it again? And I didn't know kids can get that more than once. I thought it was like similar to chicken pox. Oh, so if I knew that, I probably would have like thought, oh, okay, cool, because somebody did say it to me earlier. But, um, yeah, she said the wait to see a doctor is six and a half hours, which is a really long time considering. If I didn't have a mora, I wouldn't mind, obviously, and if he was in a bad way, but he's not in no pain. He was, like, playing and everything. He's not asked for no medicine or anything like that. So she said she'd recommend me just to go to the chemist and they can prescribe me with something. So she told me to go to my local chemist and she gave me, I think, a prescription and that is what I'm about to go and do now. But he's all right, he's just getting a little bit tired. So I was really worried when I came here, I'm thinking, oh my God, like what could it be? And I realized when I got here that he had split skin and then he's got like two warts that have come up today. So then I was more worried and now, yeah, she's sending us to the chemist. Because she said you can either wait here six and a half hours and I'll basically get something. Or I can just go to the chemist. And I said I'll just go to the chemist if I can get it from the chemist. So we are now back at home. And Dante went straight to sleep, didn't he? No. Is Dante asleep? No. And what are you going to watch? Ignore a scruffy face. She's just had some chocolate biscuits. What, do you want? what are you going to watch? Tell everyone which one. The one. Which one? The melon. Okay, good melon. Go on then. You click it. Oh wow. Connect your world with a Galaxy S twenty two and Chrome. So, yeah, he is conked out, and I just feel so sorry for him because obviously it's not nice and it doesn't look nice either. But yeah, we're gonna get him better soon as we can he's literally conked out like she's been sleeping she only just woke up when we got home imagine that she's been sleeping from when we first went to the hospital so right now we're just having a little sit down and they're basically saying if it doesn't go away within i think a week and a half from now take him back because it shouldn't really last too much longer now because he has had these cuts on his face for a few days, hasn't he? But we didn't know what it was. And I didn't really think anything of it. The school, I rang his school and I said, oh, when can he return? They have said he can return tomorrow because he feels well in himself. So his stage of like passing it to other kids, it's been and gone because he was at school last week. So it's going around the school anyway. It's not only Diante who's going to spread it. But she said because he's well in himself, he's not having no medicine. He'll just have his cream. He can actually go back to school tomorrow. But I'm going to ask Diante if he wants to do that or not. Because if he tells me no, see, Diante loves school. So if he tells me no, I will keep him off just because... I want him to get better before just putting him in school um, and then taking him out again midweek. So I'm going to see how he is later on and stuff. I have cancelled 
some appointments this week that I've had because obviously I don't know how Dante's going to be, I don't know if he's off school, like all that, so I've just cancelled them anyway as a just in case. But he was really, really good in the hospital. Um, yeah, he was really good and this little madam was just fast asleep. Weren't you, baby? She's so chunky. Thing about Amora, she loves putting her feet on me. She does it all the time. But is anybody else obsessed with baby feet? Like, I just literally love her feet. Like, I could eat her feet. Like, they're the only feet that I'd allow near me. They're just so small and chunky and they're just so cute. But she's actually still in her pyjamas, everyone, you know. Um, I think I told you that earlier how I was just going to leave her in her pyjamas. And obviously it's now, like, four o'clock. So I'm not going to bother putting her into clothes, but they're both going to have a bath soon. So she'll get changed then into some new pyjamas. But she could just chill in those ones for now. I actually do need to put them clothes away. Um, but I'm not doing it right now. I'm not doing it right now. I'm literally having a sit down. Whilst, me, whilst I'm all, like, so chilled out. I am chilling out. It is a lot, lot later now. Today, for dinner, we just had spaghetti bolognese. Dante didn't eat too much of it, but he's had loads of other things to eat before and after. So, yeah, he has ate okay, to be fair. And Amora, she loved her food. Me, I was so hungry and I just wanted something quick and easy. And then I've not long had some apple crumble. The kids were a nightmare to get bed today. They had a bath and it was like they were both tired, but neither of them wanted to go to bed. But right now, Amora is just here. Like, look at her. She mainly sleeps with me, to be fair. Um... She loves being next to me when she sleeps. She loves touching me when she's sleeping as well. Like, right now her head is on me. When she first went to sleep, she wasn't. But she makes sure, like, she can feel me. And I love that. I think it's so cute. But I've put loads of washing in. And I have hoovered up and tidied up. And I want to start doing, like, cleaning vlogs. Let me know what you guys think of that. Um, is that something you want to see? Like, no, yeah. Shall I include it in a vlog? Shall I do a separate video? Like a whole cleaning video? Let me know what you guys think. But this week, I'm 100% getting my eyebrows done because, yeah, I'm going to get my nails done at some point as well. But, <clears throat> yeah, not really been doing too much. I've been editing a few videos and... I haven't really been doing much other than that. So I've prepared Dante's uniform because I don't know if I'm going to send him in in the morning. But I've prepared it anyway, so just in case. Um, I need to start planning like the end of the year, start of next year. So I need to get myself like a new diary. Oh, I wouldn't show you I'm back in a moment. Listen, me and Cheyenne... I was on FaceTime for ages and I was going to vlog but was just having, you know, a girly chat and like a big gossip. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to go to bed in a moment. I'm so tired. And I think if I had something to do, then maybe I'd stay awake. But there's no point because I've not actually got anything to really get on with. And my two candles, they've run out. So I need to go get two new candles this week. Because you lot know I love my candles. I love candles. They are my favourite thing ever. I had to change my bedding earlier just because it's been on for a good, like, five days now. And do you know when you can just feel like, yeah, it's time to, it's time to change it now. So, yeah, I changed my bedding. And I'm going to go. And I've got videos to record tomorrow, like sit-down videos. So I'm going to get done with those tomorrow if Dante goes to school. If not, then I'll probably just have to wait till he's back at school or when they're asleep. 
sometimes it is hard to record in here when they are asleep because they might nap on my bed or something like that so yeah but i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i know it wasn't like an uplifting vlog but see on this channel i want to be real with you lot i like to show you lot the real ins and outs not just it will be in happy happy valley because that's not real life you know real life things happen emergencies happen my kids have never been hospital so yeah down to go in hospital it was you know a bit of a like surprise a bit upsetting but he's okay thank god i've had loads of messages if you're not following me on my instagram make sure you go and follow me because then you'll get more like daily updates if that makes sense i'm trying to upload so much more on my instagram stories as i used to be so good on instagram i always used to do like little hauls i used to always show everybody like what we're doing and stuff but yeah i've just been slacking so make sure you go and follow me on instagram so you guys can be up to date with what goes on like, on that day but i hope you guys have had an amazing day with whatever you've been doing and i'll see you guys tomorrow i love you all bye